Okay, we go right now to uh, the story of uh, Philip. Philip, uh, the Bible says, is an evangelist. He was actually in Samaria, and there's a, a revival going on in Samaria. There were miracles. And notice that a special gift of healing was manifested through Philip. If you read carefully, the lame in the city were healed. Didn't say any other condition, but the lame were healed. So it's a gift of healing. He had a gift of healing for the lame. So God used Philip. Then an angel of the Lord came to Philip and says, Arise and go toward the south along the road which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is desert. You know, talk about the first step and the winding steps. Why would the Lord ask someone to take the first step and the first step is towards desert? Got a revival down here. Sometimes God's uh, ways can be quite strange. One thing about the spiral staircase is this. You know, you see, you go up, right? I, I'm going towards all of you and then I'm going away from you all. Can you see that? Sometimes it appears like the, the step that God leads you. Thy word is a lamb unto my feet. Amen. It starts with the first step. But sometimes it may seem like, God, God, this direction will, will not bring me to my dreams. Uh, uh, it's not, it will not bring me to where I, I want you to uh, do, uh, you know, work for me, Lord. I, I want you to give me favor in the area. But it turns around. Amen? And, and then, but you, you know what? You're actually getting higher into the very place that God has for you. Amen. So, there's a revival going on here. An angel of the Lord came and said, go to that road from Jerusalem to Gaza, which is desert. And there, he didn't even say anything up there. Just do it. First step. Never tell him what's going to happen. There, first step. Right? However, the Lord talks to you. Okay, so he went down. He arose and went. Obedience, the first step. And behold, a man of Ethiopia... Look at this guy. This is a government, government guy from Ethiopia. He is a, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasury. This man had charge of all her treasury. He's a VVIP. Amen. And he had come to Jerusalem to worship. And he was returning. And he was sitting in his chariot. He was reading Isaiah the prophet. And he was reading Isaiah 53. He was crushed for our iniquities, but chastisement of our peace was upon him. With his stripes, he, we are healed. He read all that portion. And then he didn't understand. Let's drop down. And it says, the Philip opened his mouth, began at scripture, preached Jesus to him. Now, as they went down the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, see, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? Then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. So he commanded the chariot to stand still and both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and he baptized him. Now when they came up out of the water, watch this, watch this, all those of you who are very uh, interested in teleporting. <laughs> the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away so that the eunuch saw him no more and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at his place called Azotus, which is uh, Ashdod. And passing through, he preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. First of all, God's instruction was what? One step at a time. Then the Spirit of God told him, a chariot passed by, and join yourself to this chariot when he was there. People, be, get ready. Whatever he says to you, do it. When the Spirit tells you, okay, you're going to this place now, I want you to spend more time listening than talking. And you obey the Spirit because there are, there are things that will happen. Even if God has to give you a miraculous gift because you took the first step, the rest will flow. Amen. Many a times, the Lord will tell you to do something simple. Take up your bed. The moment you do that, you don't tell a man with withered hand, for example, stretch forth your hand. Just obey. When you, when you attempt to even stretch at the command of the, the Lord, he's strengthened. Amen. He was healed. So when the Lord tells you to do something, but you say, I can't. Can't you see my condition? And the Lord says, I want you to do it. You may have a problem with your tie or your, you know, your, your leg or whatever. God says, walk. Say, can't you see? I'm in a wheelchair. Amen? Do it. It is when the Lord tells you and you obey the Lord, even the supernatural is released. 